Hello, welcome to Einstein's Mechanics. In today's episode, we are going to solve objective questions on strength of materials. And this is going to help us in our examination and our piece for this semester or throughout our work. So number one, the deformation per unit length is called, we have strain, stress, elasticity, and none of these. And from our tutorials, we know that the answer is strain. Strain is the deformation per unit length. Number two, the ability of the material to deform without breaking. That means the material to deform without going through any breaking is called, and that is plasticity. Number three, which of the following material is more elastic? That means it can regain its shape when a force is being applied and removed. We have rubber, we have glass, we have steel, and we have wood. And the most elastic is steel. So steel is able to regain its shape and size. Number four. The percentage elongation and the percentage reduction in area depends upon the percentage elongation and percentage reduction in area depends upon we have tensile strength of the material, ductility of material, toughness of material, and none of these. And we know that the percentage elongation depends on the ductility of the material. Number five, the property of a material by which it can be drawn to a smaller section by applying a tensile load is called, so for a material to be drawn to smaller section or beaten into a smaller section by applying load is called, and that is ductility, ductility. That means the material is very ductile. Number six, the stress at which extension of a material takes place more quickly as compared to the increase in load is called. So when you look at the graph of how things deform, a situation where a material extension takes place more quickly than the load being applied is called, and that is the yield point. The material is said to be yielding when it extends, which is not proportional to the load being applied. Number seven, a brittle material has no elastic zone, no plastic zone, large plastic zone, and a brittle material has no plastic zone. Unit of strain, among which of these is the unit of strain? Centimeter per centimeter, meter per meter, Newton per centimeter square, no unit. We know that strain is the elongation or the deformation per unit length and that has no unit. So strain is dimensionless. Number seven, the increase in length of a bar L and area A, modulus of elasticity E due to tensile load P is given by, so we want the formula for calculating the increase in length, that is the elongation. And we know that elongation is given by the load times the length over the area multiplying the elasticity that is b p l over a e number 10 the ratio of lateral strain to linear strain is called the ratio of lateral strain to linear strain sigma y over sigma x is called and that is the poisson's ratio poisson's ratio Number 11, a perfectly elastic body 
if we say a body is perfectly elastic, what does it mean? A can move freely, has perfectly smooth surface, is not deformed by any external surface, recovers its original size and shape when the deformation or deforming force is removed. And D is the answer. Elastic bodies are bodies which are able to recover its original shape and size when the deforming force is removed. 12. The value of Poisson's ratio depends upon so Poisson's ratio depends upon a nature of load being tensile or compressive, magnitude of load, material of the test specimen, dimensions of the test specimen and Poisson's ratio depends on the material. Every material has its own Poisson's ratio. It's constant for material such as steel, wood, aluminum, they have their constant Poisson's ratio. 13. Which of the following is dimensionless quantity? Shear stress, Poisson's ratio, strain, and both B and C. So the answer is both B and C because we saw that strain is dimensionless and Poisson's ratio is also dimensionless because it is the lateral strain over what? The linear strain. 14. Percentage elongation during tensile test is indication of that's A, the ductility. So the percentage elongation during tensile test indicates ductility. Number 15, brittleness is opposite to. So if the material is not brittle, then it is what? Plastic or plasticity. So the opposite of brittleness is plasticity. 16. When a bar is subjected to a change of temperature and its longitudinal deformation is prevented, the stress induced in the bar is... So, now we want a stress induced in the bar as a result of change in temperature and that stress is called tensile compressive shear and that is thermal stress caused by what? Temperature. So D. 17. When a bar is subjected to increase in temperature and its deformation is prevented, the stress induced in the bar is... Now we've subjected a bar to temperature change and the deformation is prevented, it is going to experience compressive stress compressive stress. Number 18. In a composite body consisting of two different materials, that will be same in both materials. So when we talk about composite bodies, bodies containing two or more different materials, and if they are joined together, what will be the same for both materials? Stress, strain, both stress and strain, none of the above. The strain will be the same. They will all deform at the same time. 19. When a wire is tried to double its length, the longitudinal strain produced in it is... So a wire is going to be stretched double its length and the longitudinal strain produced is... Is going to be one, just one. 20. When mild steel is subjected to a tensile load, its fracture will conform to, and that is cap and cone shape. Cap and cone shape. Thank you for watching this episode. Check out for the second part, which contains more objective questions. Thank you.